I'm going to put the... No, no, no. Oh, it's still running pink. Oh, I don't want pink meat. Today has been a good day, guys. I just checkmated a beginner chess bot on chess.com, so I'm kind of feeling on top of the world right now. So I figured I needed to bring myself back down to earth, and I only really know one way to do that, so uh, it's Kay's cooking time, baby. Now today is really gonna be something special, guys, because we've got Kay cooking a British classic, Beef Wellington, a staple of British cuisine. A lot of my viewers from across the pond get mad when I say British cuisine when it's not something like specifically British, but I mean, like, who's cooking it, guys? Is it a British person? Okay, that's all we need. But today, we are really looking at quintessential British cuisine, and you know what? I've got faith in Kay. If there was ever a person I would trust to make the meanest beef wellington on this planet, it would definitely 100% be Kay. Does my voice sound genuine? It does? Perfect, I've been working on my lying. No, but seriously, I'm pretty sure that beef wellington is consistently listed as one of the hardest dishes to make right, so I'm really curious to see how this comes out. I don't necessarily not have have faith in K, but uh, I I don't necessarily have it either. But I wouldn't have faith in myself trying to make a beef Wellington, so uh, kind of to be expected. But let's not waste any more time. Let's just see how this beefy welly comes out. All right, is that what they call it over in Britain? A beefy welly? I'm sure they do. Let's begin. Please subscribe. Hi people, and I'm back cooking again. And today I'm going to be having a go at making beef Wellington which I'm not looking forward to. Never have I ever believed the words coming out of a person's mouth more. This beef Wellington has been haunting Kay for months. She has not slept a full night since the first request of beef Wellington. Okay, you don't have to do this. As you can see, I've got some fresh mushrooms, freshly bought this morning. And problem is, they've gone in, I put them straight into the fridge which has made him a go bit of a funny colour. What I'm going to do is I'm going to cut these, all these mushrooms up until, it, until they look like breadcrumbs. That's what it said on the video anyway. Now I've never made beef wellington so I might just be speaking out of line here but once you see the size of meat that is going to be used for this beef wellington I think you'll agree that we might might have a few too many mushrooms, okay? Right, as you can see I've got the Mushrooms cooking on a low heat. Yes, it is on. Can you see the heat? Can you see the ring? Well, you can't, but it's because it's on a low heat. And it says to add a bit of garlic. Now, a lot of you have said, Ah, oh, you don't get brown garlic. You do if you've got lazy garlic. Now, that to me it looks brown. Grey, no, not grey, brown. So it said to add a teaspoon of that. Pre-minced garlic is like the one thing that I am 100% a food snob about. If you're going to go through the trouble of putting garlic in your food, take the three minutes that it takes to just cut up a few cloves of garlic. If you don't want to cut it up, just go to the store and get one of those like garlic press things and it will take even less time. The difference between a pre-minced garlic and fresh garlic is so unbelievably noticeable that it's like using two different ingredients. And you can probably see in the rest of the camera shot come here come here come here come here come here the beef now if you're wondering why it looks like that thinking well hold on that looks like it's been cooked cooked cut cooked yes it has been cooked because i don't like my stuff on my plate going moo or whatever i don't like my food saying hey you're right so i have cooked it in Oil. So if you're unfamiliar with beef wellington, um, generally what you're supposed to do, from my understanding, is sear the outside of the beef and then cook the rest of it like in the oven as everything else is cooking. And it's generally supposed to be medium rare, medium at the most, I think. Uh, this is uh, not a not a rare steak, I'll tell you that much. And it's not supposed to be, clearly. As a person who eats rare or medium rare steak, I don't understand like the mental thing that makes people not like medium rare or pink steak. If someone could like explain it to me, I would be very 
very appreciative. Like, you guys know it tastes better, right? I think objectively almost. Like, I know taste is subjective, but I, I really think this is like an objective matter. If somehow you could make like a medium rare steak not pink and you put it next to a well done steak, I promise you 100% that the medium rare one would taste better. I don't understand why the color throws people off so much. It's, it's not raw. All right, so for the next six minutes, all it is is just K making the pastry dough. And I'm going to be honest, I know absolutely nothing about baking. Not enough to tell you whether or not what I'm looking at is good or not. So I'm not even going to try. Yes, yes, I know I have watched a lot of the great British baking show. So I should be kind of well versed in this, but I don't know, man. When it comes to things made out of flour, my mind quite literally shuts down. Not sure why that is. Probably because I've never taken the time to learn. But uh, I don't know, that makes too much sense. As you can see, I've got the pastry done and I'm going to put the no 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 oh it's still running pink oh I don't want pink meat um okay I'm I'm not sure we agree on the definition of pink because that steak is quite literally all brown there's no pink to be seen for miles that is a well done steak ah, I suppose I'm gonna have to put this pink Oh, I don't like pink meat. I like my meat done. I don't like it mooing at me or making noises. At this point, I'm actually kind of concerned about what would happen if you showed Kay an actual medium rare steak. Would she just immediately evaporate? Unless there's a really weird camera trick going on here. There is, there is absolutely no pink in this steak whatsoever. Like beef wellington is generally very pink. This hasn't even been put in the oven yet, and it's fully brown. I feel like we've got to be seeing different things or something. There we are, a beef wellington. A uh, bit of egg on it to make it cook. And it does say to put it in for 15 minutes. But the thing is, my meat's still pink, and I don't like pink meat. Alrighty, okay, really not trying to harp on the pink meat thing here, but this is a genuine question. I'm I'm not making fun of British people, okay? Alright, British viewers, please, please don't take offense to this, but is there like a different, different idea of pink steak in Britain? There's not, right? This is kind of a hypothetical. Like, I think if you cook that steak for 15 more minutes, it's not even going to exist anymore. It's going to crumble. I am genuinely confused. Right, anyway, so that's going in the oven. Like I said, he said 20 to 25 minutes. Uh, he didn't. He said 15 to 20 minutes. Mine. I will check it on 20 minutes, but I'm not going to enjoy the meat because I don't like pink meat. I've, made, I've said it before. I hate pink meat. It's got to be cooked or a bit cremated. A bit cremated? Well, I mean, as long as you're aware, Kay, I guess it's fine. If you just like really, really well done steak, I, I mean, knock yourself out. It doesn't affect me. But I really would like an acknowledgement that the steak is not pink as it stands. Could we get there, maybe? That is the end product. Here is the taste test. And here's the taste test, then. Perfect, really dry. Is it? And mm. I made it with butter and lard. Oh my god, when Lee says something negative, you know that we're dealing with some real nuclear level bad food. Lee almost never says anything bad, he just wants to make his mother happy. When he leads with, this pastry is awful, that cannot be good. I'm not sure Kay's ever gonna recover from this. You can't taste that meal. Can't ya? Yeah. Mm. Too much pasty, I guess. That is, yeah. Um, the meat, bit of meat I can tell. Nice and tender. Oh, is it tender? Thank mm. goodness for that. But, yeah, the pastry is just too strong and probably need a bit more meat because you could hardly taste the meat. Let me just get a bit of meat out. Mmm. Nice and tender though. Normally dry beef. Actually, generally, generally enough, it's not actually that dry. Mm, pretty good. Some good. Look, I normally trust Lee. I trust Lee with my life. But if you grow up eating only well-done steak, then I don't I don't really trust you to know what juicy steak tastes like. I'm sorry, I don't. Because 
Well, I mean, you don't know what a juicy steak tastes like. You know what it's like to eat a boot. Well, guys, um, I, I went into this video not expecting to see the greatest beef wellington I've ever seen in my life, and, well, expectations met. However, I did come out of this video with one thing that I did not have before this video, and that is a craving for sweet potato cheese fries. YK making a beef wellington made me really want some sweet potato cheese fries. I, I am not sure, but I do, so, um, that that's, that's what I'm gonna go do now. So, um, I guess the video's over. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and walk on over to that subscribe button and touch it. It's free. It won't cost you anything. But for now, that's all I have for you today. Bye. Subscribe.